This is only appropriate because we have one of the great catches of the Brentford Brand area with us, and she's sitting to my left, Jennifer Middleton, who lives in Park Center, right? Hey, you. Hi, Kevin. Ted. It's been a while. And you brought Jesse Gregory with you. Jesse, awesome. welcome. You get to wear this on a regular basis. Yes. You are the Canadian goalie for our sledge hockey team? Canadian team, yes. Wow. Okay. It's kind of a big deal. I know, and she's local. <laughs> this is what we do here. It's local and positive stories, only on Rogers, inside brand. Preceding the paid political analysis. That was a cheap one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Jesse's here, you're here, because the big deal, well, not just Can and Games going on with the torch relay. Yep, we've been selected as one of the community stopovers on Friday, June 19th in the afternoon. I can't give specific timing yet, but very soon I'll be able to come back and uh, tell you specific timing. Um, but the city of Brantford, we're doing a mini Pan Am Games feeling. That's as much of a teaser as I can give you for today. You're doing a mini Pan Am Games feeling? Yeah, like the atmosphere. Does that mean like... No, no. Okay. <laughs> the atmosphere. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's the thing I got. I was trying to figure it out. Uh, how many people are going to be running with the torch? Um, that hasn't been re revealed yet. Either. Really? Yes, but I can tell you there's three torchbearers that were chosen from Brentford, and Jesse is one of them. Uh, uh, Krista Duchaney and Mary Orr, who will also be on the show in the next couple weeks. How did you find out about this? Uh, I got nominated. Someone emailed me. So. Really? Sure. Did you go on and vote? Was this like American Idol and you had no, have thousands I, of people check in? I didn't do anything. Email? I just got an email. And so how long is your part of the route? I'm not sure yet. Okay. <laughs> This thing is very... down to a planning science. Absolutely. I can tell. Okay. The torch will be here, right? I, I hope so. It's not going to be a big lighter or something like that running down. You because... know, we're good at improvising with things going well, on. When but... you're doing the Can Am feel, I thought, you know, Pan Am feel, yeah. maybe it's just going to be a Zippo you know, going down the street. No, 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 the, no. the actual torch is going the to be here. The actual torch will be here. And uh, I can't even tell you where it starts, but I like to say it's happening in the city of Brantford. It's any Army Square. And uh, what I will say is we're going to have live feed. Roger is going to do live feed. So you're able to come down to Harmony Square and watch the entire torch relay from where it begins to where it ends in Harmony Square. So you don't have to worry about being here, there, and everywhere. You can actually just watch it in Harmony Square. So Jesse's whipping down the middle of the road on the 30th? Don't 19th, run over. 19th. 19th? Or? The 30th. That, that's a fair game if she's on the road at the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Do you get, like, I, I, I got a hundred questions. You're going to go, I don't know. Have they told you how long you have to take to get your length? I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know you were selected, though. Yes. Do you know who nominated you? No. Okay. Our committee. Okay. So the committee had to figure it out. So how did the committee come up with the nominees they came up with? Everybody around the table has a hand in sports or uh, related to um, many things in the city of Brantford. So we, the way that the Pan Am Games did the torch relay selection was you had to um, apply to be one. So we didn't want to go through the same process that everybody else was doing. So we decided to throw out some names and uh, guess who was chosen as one of them. This is uh, kind of a big deal. I mean, it when's is. the last time they had something like this? The Olympic torch was, uh, well, Rick Hansen relay came through yeah. four years ago and then before that was the Olympic torch. Yeah, I remember the Olympic torch relay coming through too, because that was a big deal. Did yeah. they let you know about that in advance? And <laughs> did it have the Olympic feel? You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. okay. The rules and regulations. So, let's let's get a recap on this. We know the day, which is? Friday, June 19th. We don't know the route. Well, I know the route, but I can't tell you the route. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you know all the people and you can't tell us yet? I don't know that either. Okay. I only know three. Okay. So are you going to get a call in like, the middle of the night? Jesse, quick, get on there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is not done at 2 a.m. <laughs> no, in the afternoon. Okay. I can tell you it's the afternoon. So we know that rain or shine? Rain or shine. All those kind of stuff going yes. on. Yes, but we don't say that R word. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> like we don't say that S word, the chili really cook off. Right. Time, so. Yeah, no, and that's no. Right, okay. right. <laughs> okay. How long have you been playing sledge hockey? Uh, this is my fourth year playing. Really? Yeah. Four years? Yeah. And you're on the Canadian team? I made mean, the team my first year, yeah. Okay. How'd you do in your most recent competition? Um, the U.S. beat us again. Ooh, I hate but, that. But it was close. We went into OT. Oh, so. Okay. Well, yeah. they, they just, they, 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 they fudge the thing anyways, I'm sure. I would yeah, not be that good. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> They got a few good players. Uh, so we're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about sledge hockey. We're going to give you all the information that we know as a stand so far about the torch relay. That and so much more only on Rogers. We're inside Brand. Thank <laughs> you.